Okay, this one, 18 or 24 is okay. Moonlight painting. One of the moonlight paintings. Got these old cantinas that used to rent beds upstairs. Really casual bunch of people. And I think a bath was 75 cents. I could, I could be overstating that. But you could get food and, and booze and have your laundry done and sleep unless there was a lot of gunfire. And there were some guys that could sleep through the gunfire. And then the next day or the next two days you could ride out with clean clothes and a good meal under your belt. And these places were called cantinas. And the, they were, some of them were really successful. And some of them were back off the main drag. They had one. They had one and she had, and they had like rooms and bunks and they had a dugout underneath the stove in the kitchen where they would hide guys that were wanted by the police, by the sheriff, you know, if like you're on the lam, she would put you up down there in the dirt. Actually it was a dugout. It was dug out underneath the underneath the stove. You move the stove and the floor gives way and there's a little little stairway, maybe four steps down, and then you had to keep your head down like this, and you could live down there. And there were guys that were on the lam, and they stayed there until they could figure out what they were going to do. Not very long. You couldn't stay there very long. You had to get out. But that's Rosie's Cantina. It's really Rosie's Cantina. But she didn't want to use her real name. So we'll give her a break on that.